Yeah, obviously, uh, guys are versatile is a uh, is really big. Um, the more time, the more uh, positions you can play on the field, the more uh, options you have the team. So, uh, I'm looking forward to it. And then sort of separate from that, working with a lot of these new pitchers, how has it been? Sort of familiari familiarizing yourself with some of these guys, and who you feel like it is kind of ahead of where you expected them to be, particularly on the newcomer front. Yeah, all the all the uh, the new guys. I mean, obviously we have a lot of new guys this year, but uh, specifically the pitchers have looked really good. Uh, they all bring a really good attitude every day. Um, it's fun to work with them. What do you think this team's identity is, or does it take a while into the season to kind of figure out what exactly you guys stand for and what what you represent? Um, a lot of hard-nosed guys. Um, obviously, on paper, is a lot different than on field, so that'll kind of happen naturally, like you were saying. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Boomy preaches hard-nosed guys, uh, just kind of guys who are just faceless and just go out and just do the job. With Boomy said, uh, you know, all last season and even just now that you're, you know, the hardest worker on the team, um, you know, day in and day out here before everyone else. Uh, were you surprised at all last year with how much of an impact you had, both, you know, on the stats and, like, being involved kind of even in the outfield behind the plate? Uh, I wouldn't say surprised. I mean, I was kind of working towards it. Um, I mean, it's just when I got my opportunity, I just, I guess, I just took advantage of it. So I mean, I was just staying ready. That's pretty much it. Looks like you put on a good amount of muscle since we last talked in the fall. What was your uh, training routine been like? To be honest? Yeah, um, uh, Tim and uh, Ted, um, both our strength guys, have been uh, really good for me. Um, just try, to, like you're saying, just trying to put on weight. Um, I mean, I could, I could put on weight. Just put on healthy weight is the, the thing. So. Um, just trying to do that, um, you know, just get stronger, faster, um, all that stuff. Um, I feel like it's like been good for me. A couple of names have been thrown out for the starting rotation. Uh, last time, Christian Curtis. What is uh, the relationship with them, and what have you been able to learn from, from them, considering the uh, They're great guys. I mean, I mean, they bring a really good attitude. I mean, it's it's just like I was saying, it's just fun to work with them. Um, obviously, they're really good. Um, that that helps. Um, but they're just, I mean, they're great guys. That's first and foremost. So. Uh, yeah, I enjoy I enjoy spending time with them. For as often as you played last year in the season, and then going right to summer ball in the Cape, and then right into fall workouts, did, were you able to enjoy any of the off season at all? Before? I mean, that's part I enjoyed. Um, I like playing, so you know, all that stuff was really fun for me, um, especially going to the Cape. That was, I mean, it was the first time because I'm I live at home, so it was a uh, pretty cool kind of you know getting away from home, uh, playing like that a little bit. But yeah, I mean, I, all that I enjoyed. And playing with you know some of the best talent really you know nationwide yeah. all in one spot. What was that experience like? What did you bring from that experience you know over there to here in Tempe? Yeah, um, everyone who uh, who's been to the Cape that was just uh, talking to me about it. They all say like you'll see once you come back it'll, it'll just feel different. Like the game will just feel a little slower, and uh, it definitely did. I mean, it just I mean not that it was fast last year, but it was it was different. And not to say it's not it won't be different this year, but you know. Coming back, I mean, like you're saying, coming back to the Cape, it's you know, everyone's top guy every game. So, you know, it was it was good to see competition like that consistently. Is it a mental challenge for you, obviously wanting to go out there behind the plate every day, but also knowing, hey, it might be smart to stay fresh and take a day at DH. Really mention the outfield too. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm cool with whatever. You know, I'm I'm getting my body ready to, to catch all every single game. You know, that's that's my job. So I'm I'm a I'm gonna do what I gotta do to be ready for that. But I mean, if uh, if Bloomy wants me in the outfield or DH, like. I mean, he's the boss, so wherever he wants me to play, I'll play. Possibility that a couple of freshmen could start in the infield was thrown out uh, earlier. What have you seen, you know, from that freshman class in general you know, in terms of their mindset? Are there parallels that you, know, you brought into last year that you've kind of been talking with them about to keep them? To yeah, charge? yeah, they're they're really hardworking. Um, like you were saying, uh, I mean, the, a lot of the guys are uh, here really early. Um, you know, with me, you know, kind of doing their thing, and it's uh, it, it's cool to see because. You know, I, I, I think I could help them out, you know, with kind of like the mental side a little bit. And so, and they're really open to whatever, you know, me, all the, all the guys that are here, new guys, you know, they're, they're really open to whatever. And uh, I'm really excited for them. I think, they'll, I think they'll help us out this year a lot. What is that, what is the biggest mental task you think after going through your freshman season that you've been able to really talk to them about? Uh, just, you know, just uh, knowing that you can actually play. Um, I mean, I know for me personally, I, sh I struggled, uh, especially in the fall, my, my last year, like just, being getting comfortable, you know, and uh, you know, I mean, they, they look really comfortable right now. So I mean, hopefully they could carry it through. But I mean, yeah, they're just, yeah, just, 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 just affirming yourself that you can actually, you know, do this. So. Open house tomorrow. What should everybody attending walk away knowing about this team? 
uh, like I was saying earlier, it's just you know just a bunch of guys that are just hardworking, ready to go play. I mean, I mean, we got a lot of new faces, uh, so it'll be good for the fans to see uh, so all the new guys. But I mean, you know, I think we have a pretty good team this year. And how do you think having the alumni around helps instill the culture of this program into the new guys? Yeah, I mean, that's what this, that's what uh, that's what makes ASU baseball special. Um, got a lot of really good alumni. Uh, I mean, a lot of big names. You know, even the guys that aren't well known. You know, they're they're around here. They support the the uh, the team still. So it's uh, it's pretty special. Your coaches and a couple teammates before you were mentioning how you're you're a silent worker. You'll put your head down and just go to work. Similar to Joe last year. Um, can you speak on the relationship that you both had as teammates and maybe some things that uh, you can take from him in this year now that he's on the Pro Bowl? Yeah, Joe's my guy. I mean, uh, pretty much everything I got I got from Joe. So it's uh. Yeah, he's, he's the man. You mentioned the uh, done fastball, Curtis changeup is some of your favorite pitches to catch. Have you gotten a little more used to those? Is there anything new we should know about? Uh, I mean, the Timmy Manning curveball is pretty pretty hard hit too. So I mean, it's it. I mean, yeah. I mean, a lot of the guys, are, uh, all the guys have a pitch that the uh, hitters don't want to hit. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. Overall, well, he's got the nastiest stuff. Or like a top three. Top three. You want a top three? Um, Curtis changeup, Dunn slider, Manny curveball. A lot of the guys mention you as a guy who's you know ready to step into a leadership role. Now that it's your sophomore year, you're a little more confident. Do you feel that's a role you're ready to step into with the team? Uh, I mean, I'm not really thinking about it too much. I mean, I I I'd rather just uh, kind of lead by example. I don't really say a whole lot. Um, you know, I'll just do my thing and. Uh, Try to go about things the right way and yeah.